Welcome, Harry. Here you are at last. Careful, Harry. I think he's lost it. Lost it? What? No, 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 no. Not the great Gilderoy Lockhart. It's just that now is the time to end this little adventure. See? I shall go back to the school, tell them it was too late to save the girl, and that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Oh, no. I know what he's going to do. He's going to try and hit us with one of his memory charms. Yes, indeed. The famous Lockhart memory charm. I'm sorry, boys, but it is for the best. Shit. No, not Lockhart. But yeah, um, if you haven't read the book or seen the film, he is... <laughs> this is fucking bad shit crazy. But um, he is an imposter and he takes other wizards' work and memory charms them so they won't remember, basically. What is going on? This is fucking... Crazy. Ow! Ow! Alright, looks like we're doing alright at the moment. I want to try and get him to charm these over here. Can you hit these barrels, maybe? Shut up. Nearly done it. Eat this. He just spazzed about a little bit then. He's dead, is he not? Are you okay? Ron! Yes, I'm through here, I'm fine! Lockhart isn't though. He got blasted by his own memory charm. What are we going to do now? Well, we can't get through this lot, it'll take ages. There's only one thing to do. You are here and I'll go on. Ginny's been down here for hours and if we waste any more time, it might be too late. Okay, Harry, I'll start trying to shift some of this rock so you can get back through. Yeah, go ahead with that. <laughs> like mighty boulders. I don't know how you're going to move them. But there we go, Lockhart's like, out of the way. And we are in the Chamber of Secrets. Now, I don't actually know how long this section of the game is, but we're really close to the end, I'm guessing. Right, mix a potion. I could do with some health. Here we go. Where's the music gone? Is there meant to be music down here? I can hear a bit of ambient noise, so I'm guessing that's all there is. Uh, there we go. Come on. Collect potion. Drink that shit up, Harry. Energized and ready to go. Right, let's do this. We need to find Ginny. Right, what have we got? It's very linear, isn't it? Let me kill you. No, stop asking. Right, what's this? Oh, are they slugs? Why even bother? We fought the slugs like at the beginning of the game. What's with the noise? God. Right. Let's carry on. Rats now? Is he dead? I think they're dead. I don't think it even matters, does it? They're only rats. What is it? What is this? Is it some sort of puzzle to get those steps raised, I'm guessing?
door. Thank you for that game. Is there any reason why like the actual soundtrack isn't used, like the movie soundtrack? Right, anyway, let's go into the lost tunnel. What have we got? More slugs, great. The most fun you can ever have. I'm just going to ignore the slugs, although it is house points. But I haven't even got any of the Witches and Wizards cards, so I, I don't think that even matters. Alright, down this hole. Ooh. It's very... it reminds me a lot of Rayman 2, this game. Just the graphical style and how everything's lit. It's re I do love Rayman 2 as well. I'll have to do that game one day. Oh, come on, die rats! You know what, I'll just go run past you guys. I can't be fucked. Let's carry on our way. Um, what's down here? More slugs! Why? Okay then. Here we go. I don't know what's going on. Noise! What's this? Lava. Yeah, just like I said. There we go. There's one of the steps. Somehow we come out the same door we just went in. I don't understand how that works. And what have we got next? Forgotten Cavern. Full of slugs, is it? And rats? Yep. I was right. Although I'm nearly dead, so I think I might want to actually kill some of this stuff. I'm going to have to Wingardium Levios. Oh! Didn't want to do it yet, though, Harry. Actually. Have I just got to put all these on? I've got to break this grate. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Do I have to drop it from really high up? Or does it just take quite a few? Why are they falling back down from the ceiling again? Oh, there we go. Do I just need to get the right size stone? You'd think the bigger one would do the job. Oh, and now there's bloody tro trolls or ogres or whatever the fuck these are. Could be anything. Alright, here we go. Oh, great! That was the best I could have done. Right. Earlier in the game, when my disc was messing up, I found these guys like really easy to sneak past. That's if you know the way you've got to go, isn't it? Right, um, he goes that way, I go this way, here, maybe? He turns... Oh, shit. This is going to be quite intense by the looks of things. At least I don't lose health when I get spotted. Right. I can't... The camera! Okay, I managed to skip past the guy like I've done before. Do I get down? I don't bloody know. Where am I going? Ah! He's coming back. Holy shit. Is he coming back? Yeah, I think he is. Maybe, is he? I don't think he knows what he wants.
Press this. Up that goes. Where hey, where is my way out? Do I have to do it in such a way that I There we go. And jump across. Nothing else over there, is there? Nope. And then we can press this one. I hate the stealth sections in this game. Right. And this one over here, this is the last one. And what have we got? Dark hole. Oh dear. They've all been pretty dark. Are you going to kill me, knight? So shovel knight. Oh, you're going to die so bad. There's a thing. Just what we needed. Nintendo. Can we not roll it over? Nintendo. Nintendo. Why is it glowing blue? Nintendo. I can rock it back and forth. Nintendo. Oh, there we go. What? Why does it roll that way and nowhere else? Well, I know what to do now, but... Oh. I thought it flipped up in the air and then fell back in the same spot, but obviously not. There we go. Was that it? I can't even understand what I'm saying now. Right. Jump on this. Get away from the knights. I can't be asked to kill them all. What does that do? Ah, oh, platforms. Quickly. Quickly. There we go. Did I press the switch I needed to press? I don't know if I did. So we can climb our way up. Or maybe not. Did someone just try and kill me then? I heard something like slice and dice. There we go. I need to find the switch as well. Oh no 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 no. No you don't. Fuck you. Fuck you night man. You kidding me? I'm all the way back here. I gotta do this again. Great. Right, here we go. We're actually finally. Oh, fuck off! I'm not dying here again. But I done, I done the other rooms over again. So now I just gotta make it through here in one piece, and then I shall be fine. There's just a lot of things that can kill me up here. And last time I jumped wrong, and I got hit straight away. Right, let's run for the switch. Um, why didn't the switch press? Nintendo. Oh my Jesus, leave me alone. Right, let's just kill these. Nintendo. Nintendo. Right, why didn't the switch press? Oh, there we go. I pressed first time then. And there's a cauldron I used for a potion earlier. Just to make sure I got through this. And there we go, we've actually done this room. Can I get another potion or is it only one you're allowed? Yeah, it's only the one. So hopefully we actually hit another checkpoint. So let's jumpity jump our way up. Here we go. Very nice. Right. Come to me. I'm coming, God. Not Ginny, no! Ginny! Ginny! Don't be dead! Please wake up! She's alive, but only just. Ginny's been writing in the diary for months, pouring out her soul. 
and as she did, I grew stronger until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and filch's cat. I'm afraid Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf, Hagrid, to gain your trust. One day, I hoped to lead another in my footsteps to finish the work of Salazar Slytherin. I knew you were on the trail of Slytherin's heir, so I led Ginny down here to wait. Tom Riddle was my filthy, non-magical father's name. Do you see it yet, Harry? I am Lord Voldemort, and now, Harry, I am going to teach you a little lesson. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. Holy shit. This fox. Yeah, peck his eyes out. Do it. Yeah, look at that. Best graphics ever. And we're ready for the last fight. Here we go. Let's kill. How are we going to kill this then? Open mouth. Um, this music is pretty epic, actually. I can't hear myself think, let alone hear myself speak. Um, here you go. You like that? Yeah? That was quite nice. And do you want to open your mouth one more? There we go. Very nice. There's the first phase. And there's a sorting hat. And a sword. Fucking master sword. I didn't hear a word of that. You can knock back the venom. Is it tennis? It's fucking tennis! What is going on? Okay, it's not quite Zelda. But I'll take it. How do we actually control that thing? Alright, hold X. Why is it sucking us in? Come on, hit the fucking snake! This is harder than it looks. I don't actually know what the controls are properly for that deflecting bit. Oh, there it comes again! Oh no! Shit! I don't know how, how we're actually going to do this. Oh, shit. There we go. No. Oh, shit. It's like fucking Star Wars or something. How do you aim this? Do you have to aim it back at his teeth? I, I don't even know. It's so hard to aim. I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing with this. Oh shit! No, don't stand in the acid. We got so far. Is there any health anywhere? How do you control that? You can. There's no way to actually do it. Hit him! Ooh, this is hard. It's actually quite epic for what it is, though. Whoa, don't hit the goo. Really do us some help. There we go. Doing something. Oh shit. Please don't hit me with the goo. Not the goo. It's 
It's a lot more epic than I actually remember this. And I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get to like the last hit and then I'm going to get hit myself and I'm going to have to do it all again. It's probably in even the last phase as well. How are we controlling this? Like, I don't know. There's like no feedback to it. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go to the left! Please, just do what I say! Oh, no, 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 no! Come on! Oh, please! One more. If I don't get hit now. Right. Come on, charge your laser. I'm a firing my laser. Oh, we knocked one of its teeth out by bits of things. Hit it! Oh my god, look at that health. It's a sliver. Right, here we go. The final hit, maybe. Quite possibly. It's the tooth! There was silence. Silence except for the steady drip drip of ink still oozing from the diary. The basilisk venom had burnt a sizzling hole right through it. Shaking all over, Harry pulled himself up. His head was spinning as though he'd traveled miles by flu powder. Ginny drew a great shuddering gasp. It was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me. He took me over. Harry told her that it was all right, but Riddle and the Basilisk were finished. Come on, Ginny! Let's get out of here! They were flying upwards, and before he'd stopped enjoying the ride, it was over. All three of them were hitting the wet floor of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Harry told them everything. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a Basilisk in the pipes. How Aragog had told him where the last victim of the Basilisk had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. Professor Dumbledore explained that fifty years ago, Lord Voldemort, as a sixteen-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. Later, Harry managed to release Dobby from the slavery of Lucius Malfoy. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And, as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. Yeah, he was. We did it. Finally, let's see who will win this year's House Cup. Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff? Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Gryffindor.
there we go. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is done! Finally! This game has probably been the worst game I've ever recorded, just for the fact of how many problems I've had. That's why it's taken so long. It was meant to take, like, less than a month, and it ended up taking, like, the whole of the summer, essentially. But it's done now, and I couldn't be happier. Look at this amazing credit sequence. I cannot believe my eyes. But I believe if you complete the game 100%, get all the cards and that, after the credits, you're allowed to do, like, a level select to play the game, like, the, the bits that you enjoyed the most. But I remember playing this back in the day, I never 100%ed it. You get to the end and then that's it. Whereas the first one, it felt more like you were exploring Hogwarts, whereas this one is just a lot more linear. I've only ever played it on the PS1, so I can't talk for the GameCube or the Xbox or PS2 or whatever. But yeah, the next Harry Potter game I will do probably won't be until like the end of this year, maybe the start of next year, but that would be Prisoner of Azkaban, obviously, on the GameCube. Yeah, I think the next game I'm going to be doing is going to be Bomberman 64. There is a couple other things I've been thinking about doing, but I think I'm going to leave them for a bit later in the year because it's a lot more like editing and like research work and stuff. But yes, I don't really know what else to say. I'm a bit flabbergasted to think I've actually done this. Finally. Look at all these lovely people on the wall. I wonder if that's actually like digitalized versions of them or it's just some random people. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just like, drowning on again. I've talked enough already today. So I'm going to leave it here. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and I will continue to do the Harry Potter series in the near future, and we'll eventually get them all done. Oh, and another word, I will be doing an abridged version of this game, because I did one for the original Harry Potter, if you want to check that out. Just, like, the abridged story, like, told through the game. I'm going to do that again with this one, and I'll eventually do them all and then put them as one big epic video. But yes, thank you for watching, and until next time.
Thank <laughs> you. 